Ladies and gents, we have made it back to Brisbane Road, home of Leighton Orient Football Club for today's game as they take on Burton Albion in League One. It's almost a year since we were here um, when we saw Leighton Orient take on Crawley back in League Two last year. And Orient won that day. They made it difficult, but they won. So we're hoping for exactly the same today. Kickoff is about an hour away. Good effort for most Burton fans who have made the journey down today to East London. As you can see out there, there's a small contingent out there. They've already made a bit of noise. Fair play to all those who have come down today. So then all come today, Steve's Jason Orion, and our Burton Albion here. Pretty cold East London afternoon. First of all, they must have straight into you here as a physical Burton Albion. Right then, Burton Albion, we'll start with them. Coming into this one with a pretty much form guide, they've just come off the back of an excellent 2 1 win away at Bristol Rovers in midweek. So I'll be hoping to get back to back wins today. We're going to be trying to get Slayton Orient. And moving on to play Slayton Orient. Well, they've been excellent ever since the new year. They've got a 0 0 draw um, just before the new year against Wickham. And then ever since then, they have been flying. They were only defeated in recent days. I think the Barnsley two weeks ago, or last week, sorry, when they lost 2 1. It's literally the dying of the game. They've been offering some 4 3 and the NFL Classic in midweek. So we're hoping to extend their winning run to two. Kick off. This is coming up. Pressure, but just sitting behind the ball, and this could really change the tide of the game now if this is committed, if this is scored. Yes! That's 
said before, not much has happened in this game, 42 minutes in, Orion with a lot of pressure, Burns sitting behind the ball, they had a few chances, particularly that corner that almost went in, but aside from that it's been all Orion, they just haven't been able to find that finishing touch, and they found it from the spot, it is A&O in one, Burn Albion nil, and will we see more goals now? It's half time here at Brisbane Road, late and Orient go into the half time break, 1 0 up. Percy of George Moncur from the spot. Again, as I said, not the best half of football. You know, Orient pressing high, trying to get in behind the Burton defence. They haven't really been able to do it for most of the game. And they were able to do it that one time where it mattered where the Orient player was brought down when George Moncur put late and Orient 1 0 up from the spot. And, you know, that's the difference really, but they've had a few chances, haven't been able to take them, but aside from that, they've just been sitting behind the ball trying to play for a point. So they're going to need to come out in the second half if they want anything out of this. It's half time, late and at one, let it now be a nil. chance again. Doing better than that, the free head up. I'm lucky for Morian.
off since the start of the second half. Goals are pretty interested, end to end stuff, and it went a bit too and then Burton took advantage on the break, over them trying to press for the second goal. They left themselves pretty empty at the back. And messing around as well, laps in concentration, giving the ball away. Burton now being a level. Because there was plenty of them. It's 
three points dropped in Orient's opinion, but three huge points gained for Burton. Full time here at Brisbane Road. Late in Orient one, Burton Albion two. Just finally, before we leave the ground, again, huge credit to the travelling fans. The ones that came down made a lot of noises when they were losing and when they were winning. Well, you can listen to it now. You can hear how much these three points mean to them. Excellent, excellent performance from them as fans. And also from the Orient fans who are also making a lot of noise too. But really, really unlucky in those final few stages which couldn't put their chances away. There you have it, ladies and gents. But uh, Leighton Orient won, Burton Albion two. And just to add to what I said in the ground earlier on, I think frustration is the key word that will be on Leighton Orient's opinions of today's game. They had a lot of pressure. They had a lot of chances. They just couldn't take those chances, unfortunately. They did quite well to get behind the Burton defence, which is normally one of the hardest things to do against a team who sort of wants to sit back and play for a point. They got behind them, but they just couldn't get that finishing touch. They just couldn't get it on target and get themselves another goal on top of the one they already had. Fair play to Burton, though. You've got to give it to them. They did decently well at keeping Orient out in that first half. But then, of course, that penalty just before half-time didn't help. Put them behind at half-time. And then in the second half, they sort of came out a bit, tried to get the equaliser early in the second half. And then the game sort of reverted back to how it was with Orient and all the pressure and all that. But then Burton Albion, just as Orient were looking for their second, they decided to sort of come out of their shell a bit, play on the counter-attack. And they had a few decent chances there. But then it was Orient who were sort of pushing Burton in their half. And just in sort of the, the middle phase of play, Orient just giving the ball away too many times to Burton. And that's how their first goal came. Just giving it away, lacklustre in possession. And then the second one was from a free kick, poorly defended. And uh, yeah, like I said though, Burton didn't have many chances, but the ones they did have, they took. So they have the three points and rightfully deserved, you could say. So ladies and gents, that is it. Um, just before we go though, let's take a look at the League One results and the table at the end of play today. So off the bat then, what a point it was with Charlton Athletic and Nathan Jones. Uh, Cambridge battered Carlisle 4-0. Uh, Cheltenham Town, a big win against relegation rivals Port Vale. Derby County beat playoff rivals Stevenage. Fleetwood slumped to a defeat at home to Barnsley. Uh, Leighton Orient, of course, losing to Burton. Uh, Lincoln City beating Exeter City. Northampton beating Bristol Rovers. Uh, Peterborough 1, Blackpool 2. What a huge game that was in the playoffs as well. Uh, Portsmouth 4, Reading 1. Shrewsbury 0, Wigan 1. And Wickham Wanderers 0. Oxford 0, the only 0 of the day in League 1. So there are the full-time scores. Let's take a look at the table. So then, top 12, first to 12th. And there you go, as you can see at the top, Portsmouth are absolutely cruising this season in League One. They look like they are finally going to get out of this league and get back to the championship with their after their win uh, against Reading today. So they are now six, sorry, not six, they're now nine points uh, off Bolton Wanderers and the playoffs. So looking really good for them. Derby's win also keeps them in the top two. Stevenage stay out of the playoffs after their loss to Derby. Uh, Peterborough and Oxford both drop points as well, so a missed chance for them to get back in. Uh, Blackpool, take uh, their win against Peterborough takes them up closer to the playoffs. Leighton Norwich's defeat to Burton also keeps them away from the playoffs for another week uh, as well. So that was the top half. Now then, let's focus on the bottom, 13th to 24th. Uh, Wigan's big win against Shrewsbury takes them up into 13th. Uh, Carlisle United at the bottom of the table, still on 20 points. They look like they are heading straight down to League 2 after one season in League 1 after their 4-0 defeat to Cambridge. Fleetwood's defeat still losing in 23rd. And Port Vale's defeat to Cheltenham puts them down into 22nd and Cheltenham now advancing to 21st. Uh, they're still in the bottom four, Cheltenham, but they are now a whole lot closer to safety. Cheltenham's decent point away at Bolton still keeps them closely away to the uh, relegation zone, sorry, but they are now a point clear. Uh, Shrewsbury... And Reading are on 35 points. Uh, they're also pretty close to the uh, bottom four, just three points away. And Burton and Cambridge's big wins today uh, take them three points further away from the bottom four. So, ladies and gents, that is it. But before we go, let me just tell you that next week's vlog is Stevens versus Wickham Wanderers. Uh, Stevens, three defeats on the bounce. They desperately, desperately need a win. Something has to give for the Borough. Uh, will I be able to bring the luck? 
uh, let's say, uh, when I travel to the Lamex next week, or will it be Wickham uh, who secure a huge three points and get themselves further away from the relegation zone as well? We will have to find out. So until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe as well. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. It'll mean the world to me if we can get there and beyond. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, see you next time.